Hi, my name is Sarah. I'm low vision and I am going to demonstrate today how we put together a setup with a tablet, a monitor, and some connectors in place of purchasing an expensive dedicated camera that would do the same thing, process text as OCR and then read to me. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the various components that we put together. What I will be showing you uses an iPad Air 2, however, you could use any type of tablet, Android or Apple. So, first thing I have here is the iPad Air 2, and it is sitting in a portable stand. So that gives the portability, it could be moved anywhere. Then we have a monitor up here, and then the connectors that go over and attach to the iPad. For the iPad, you have to use a connector called a Lightning 2. For an Android, the connectors would be a little different, but they're all off-the-shelf components. The other thing that I often like to do, because I have a lot of problems with contrast vision, is to reverse the contrast. Again, you can do this with either an Android or an Apple. Uh, it's just as simple as a triple press on the home key with the iPad Air 2. Invert colors. And there I am with a screen that is white text on black background. This is a great solution if I am trying to look at a piece of mail, for instance, uh, pretty much anything on paper. Um, this works very well for, for me because I do need the reverse contrast. For the first setup, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little better close-up of the components that we're using for the portable setup. In a later portion of the video, we'll show a second setup that we use in the kitchen. So for this first setup, the first thing we have is a portable stand. This particular stand fits something the size of the iPad Air. A larger tablet would require a different stand, a smaller tablet, possibly something else. The next item is the tablet itself. It's held in the stand by a couple of clips on the side, and the clips do move back and forth, so tablets that are a little larger or a little smaller could be accommodated by this particular stand. For an iPad, you need a lightning connector which connects your HDMI cable to the TV. The lightning connector is right here. Finally, we have the monitor. It's just a standard flat screen monitor I think we bought ours at Best Buy, and I believe this one is a 24 inch. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you would have the computer read to you. From this point I actually could just use the reverse contrast with the camera and read it on screen myself, or I can use an app called CanFB Reader which is available for either Apple or Android. It's about a hundred dollars, so sometimes you can get it a, a little bit discounted. So all I will do to use the CanFB Reader is position whatever it is I want to read under the iPad, bring the app up, which I have done, tap the camera icon. Jim's story. I was born in the early years of the Great Depression. It was April and it almost immediately starts reading to me, and it's very, very accurate.
Great Depression. Jim's story. I was born in the early years of the Great Depression. It was April 18, 1932, at the Columbus Hospital in Great Falls, Montana. My dad had left his home in Dakota, Wisconsin, when he was 21. My dad was the eldest of nine children. Not only was he tired of milking... Now we've moved into the kitchen, and first I want to show you a couple of other stands or ways to hook the iPad up to a monitor. First, we have the one that is actually attached to the wall, and it will pivot back and forth, and it will change its orientation as well. This one is another type of a portable stand that will attach to a level surface, say a table, or in this case it's attached to a counter, so it could be moved and stabilized pretty much anywhere in your house. And then you could put the iPad in, into it and attach it to a monitor or a TV. This is one of my favorite applications of this setup. I love to cook, but I was having an increasingly difficult time reading cookbooks. Now, with this setup, I can put my iPad over the cookbook, the cookbook sitting down here on the counter, and it broadcasts up on the screen. And if I need it a little larger, again with the camera, the pinch zoom works and I can just move the cookbook around for a multi-page recipe or whatever I need to complete my cooking. When the mail gets here, once again, I can position the iPad over the mail and either use the camera to read what's up on the screen, and again, I can also reverse contrast, or I can have KNFB Reader read it to me, and that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. 2017 in the Summit Independent Living Center Conference Room at 700 SW Higgins, from 1 o'clock to 2.30 p.m. 